Hello and welcome to yet another puzzle video. Today I'm excited to share with you the three way pistol duo. Um, <coughs> duo. Let's get started. Three logicians, Gabriel, Brandon, and Darren, have a score to settle. And so they decide to engage in a three way pistol duo under the following unusual conditions. All three duelists know the following. Gabriel is a poor marksman who hits his target only one third of the time. Brandon is a marksman with a success rate of two thirds. Darren is an expert marksman who never misses. Because of this disparity, they have agreed that Gabriel shall shoot first, followed by Brandon, and then followed by Darren. They take their places at the corners of an equilateral triangle, like so. They shall fire single shots in turn and continue in the same cyclic order until two of them are dead. Why anyone would risk their life and agree to taking turns is beyond me. Let's continue. At each turn, the man who is firing may aim whenever he pleases to. Assuming that all three adopt the best strategy and that no one is killed by a wild shot not intended for him, where or who should Gabriel shoot on his first turn to maximize the chance that he will win? Now, pause the video at this point and work on the solution. When you are ready for the solution, just press resume. I will see you in a bit. Before we continue with the solution, it is important to have some justifying assumptions. Firstly, Gabriel did not walk out of the duel. Now, many people will argue that Gabriel could simply walk out and have a drink at a nearby bar. This is not a feasible solution and is not in the spirit of the problem. The problem clearly states that they have a score to settle and they have entered this willingly. So Gabriel is not going to walk out anytime soon. It is possible to miss. Many people have argued that Gabriel should intentionally miss someone so as to hit him with a more accurate shot. This is not true. As highlighted in the question itself, no one is killed by a wild shot not intended for him. So if you shoot the ground and you miss it, you are still shooting the ground. Third, once a player is shot, he is deemed to be dead and out of the duel. Now again we consider them to be marksmen who can deliver fatal shots. All players are rational and seek to maximize their payoffs. These three are logicians, remember? They have an unlimited amount of ammo. This is strictly not stated in the question itself, but in this case, we will just apply this assumption. Lastly, winning is not equal to surviving. To win is to ensure that you are the last man standing. Of course, if you win, you also survive. Survival is merely a byproduct. However, to survive is a different affair. To survive, you need not win. For example, you could walk out of the duel. Armed with these assumptions, we are now ready for the solution. Let's first proceed to look at the qualitative solution. The answer is. He should intentionally miss by shooting the ground. Surprise, surprise. Let us see why. It is too risky to shoot either Brandon or Darren in the first round. If he killed Brandon, then Darren will finish him off immediately. 
If they killed Darren, then Brandon will attempt to finish him off with two-thirds success rate. He is basically trying to create an unfavorable situation where he is isolated. In fact, when he intentionally misses, he creates a situation where Brandon has a face-off with Darren. Brandon and Darren are logical, rational thinkers who will target each other as they are bigger threats than Gabriel. So, once that situation is created, Gabriel is going to be guaranteed a second round to shoot first, with one player eliminated. For example, if Brandon succeeds in killing Darren, then Gabriel gets to shoot next. Gabriel gets to shoot Brandon. If Brandon misses, Darren will eliminate Brandon for sure, and Gabriel will get to shoot next, shooting Darren. In conclusion, the odds of winning is higher by having one opponent eliminated for free. And that is the answer. Next, we are going to proceed with the quantitative solution. This will involve quite a bit of mathematics. First, we need to consider a face-off between Gabriel and Darren. Now, this means that Brandon has been eliminated already. Now, Gabriel gets the first shot at Darren. If it hits, then Gabriel wins with probability of one third. If it misses, then Darren wins. So in total, Gabriel will win with probability of one third. Next, we need to consider a face-off between Gabriel and Brandon. That again means that Darren has been eliminated already. Now let's consider the first round. So Gabriel gets the first shot at Brandon. If he hits, there is probability of one third. Gabriel wins. If he misses, then Brandon gets to shoot Gabriel next. Now Brandon is a better shooter, so he hits with a probability of two third, and Brandon wins. If he misses, then we are on to the second round. Now what is interesting to note here is that from the second round onwards, it will just be a repeated game of this scenario. So what we can do here is to cut and paste this portion and paste it right here. This is the second round. And similarly, for the third round, we can also do the same thing. Part of it is shown here. Now let's find out the probabilities of Gabriel winning for each round. Now, for the first round, Gabriel wins with probability one third, as shown by this outcome here. For the second round, Gabriel wins with two third times one third times one third, giving us the probability here. For the third round, Gabriel wins with two third times one third times two third times one third and times one third to give us the outcome here now as you can see the series goes on and on and on forever so how can we sum all these probabilities up we can do that by first taking out one third so we have one plus two over nine plus two over nine bracketed square plus two over nine bracketed cube and so on and so forth for infinitely long. This is just an infinite geometric series with a equals to 1 and r equals to 2 over 9, like so here. So this sum here will give us the final probability of 3 over 7. So Gabriel wins the face-off with probability 3 over 7. So now, let's consider all the possible decisions that Gabriel can make in this situation. Let's first analyze the easiest case. Gabriel intentionally miss by shooting the ground. So therefore, Gabriel skips his turn and Brandon gets to go next. 
And of course, being a logical thinker, he is going to shoot Darren. Brandon is going to succeed with a probability of tilted. And that ends up with a face-off between Gabriel and Brandon. And Gabriel gets to shoot Nate's. If Brandon misses, then that will end up with a face-off between Gabriel and Darren, since Darren is going to finish Brandon off immediately. Let's look at a situation where Gabriel shoots Brandon next. Now, as we can see before, we have already calculated the probability before, and that means that Gabriel is going to win this face-off with probability of 3 over 7 as calculated in the previous slide. For the face-off between Gabriel and Darren, we have already calculated Gabriel winning probability to be one third. So therefore, the required probability here for Gabriel to win is two third times three over seven plus one third times one third, giving us the final answer of 39.7% approximately. Next, let's analyze the situation where Gabriel is going to shoot Brandon. He's going to hit with probability of one third, and that will end up with Darren actually winning, because if he managed to shoot Brandon successfully, then Darren is going to finish off Gabriel. Now, if Gabriel misses, then we have a similar situation as before where Brandon is going to shoot Darren next. This is already calculated before, with Gabriel winning with probability of 25 over 63. So, Gabriel total's winning percentage is going to be 2 third times 25 over 63 to give us the probability of 26.5%. And finally, Let's consider the situation where Gabriel is going to shoot Darren. He is going to succeed one third of the time, after which then Brandon will shoot Gabriel. If he misses, then Brandon is going to shoot next and he will shoot Darren. Let's first analyze the situation where Brandon shoot next and he is going to shoot Gabriel since Darren is dead. So Brandon is going to hit with a probability of 2 turn, and if he succeeds, he is going to win the game. If he misses, then Gabriel gets to shoot Brandon next. As we can see, this is again a repeat of the earlier probability that we have calculated. And so Gabriel is going to win with probability of 3 over 7. Next, let us consider the situation when Brandon is going to shoot Darren. This is again a similar situation when Gabriel is going to shoot the air or shoot the ground intentionally. So that has really been calculated for Gabriel winning to be probability of 25 over 63. So the total probability of winning for Gabriel here will be one third times one third times 3 over 7 plus 2 third times 25 over 63 to give us the final probability of 31.2% which is significantly lower than had Gabriel shoot the ground. Now in retrospect, common sense can sometimes fail us and therefore we need mathematical analysis to help us to do our work. In this scenario, it is interesting to know that shooting to miss maximizes Gabriel's chance of winning. And the worst shooter here actually had the best chances of winning. Why do you think that is the scenario? There is also no limit to the variance and questions to be asked. For example, we could vary the shooting order. We could also vary the amount of ammo that each player has. And there is some real life application to real world, just in case that you think solving puzzles is useless. 
In this scenario, we realize that taking a step back may be a better choice in negotiations, especially for international relationships. Now, I hope that you have enjoyed solving this puzzle. And once again, be sure to subscribe if you find this video worthwhile. Thank you.